Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday. Uh, well, really, uh, tomorrow is International Sandwich Sunday. Uh, I do have to start the process today. That's because I am making the Venezuelan pepito. We need to make a marinade. We're going to start things off with chopped up garlic, kosher salt, brown sugar, cumin, and Worcestershire sauce. We'll get that all mixed together. Now we add skirt steak and get it all rubbed together. And let it rest in the fridge overnight. It's the next day. Now we grill our steak. Now we got to toast our bread. All right, to build our sandwich, we put down shredded lettuce. Yes, just shredded lettuce right now. Sliced tomato, our grilled steak. Parmesan cheese. It says to use finely grated, but this is what I got. This is what I'm using. Potato sticks. Yes, really, potato sticks. Now we drizzle on ketchup and mayonnaise. Okay, let's give this Venezuelan pepito a go. Getting a ton of flavor from the marinade on the steak. A little bit of sweetness from the ketchup, a little richness from the mayonnaise, freshness, of course, from the tomato and lettuce, and a little bit of crunch on top of the bread from the potato sticks. This is tasty, but I do want to plus it up, and I'm going to use a Venezuelan ingredient that uh, is kind of optional for these sandwiches, but isn't unfamiliar to it. I'm going to add a Venezuelan guasacaca sauce. It's um, basically avocados, parsley, cilantro, lime, garlic, uh, vinegar. It's kind of like a mashup between guacamole, salsa, and chimichurri. Okay, let's give this Venezuelan pepito plussed up with the Venezuelan guacacasa avocado hot sauce. A go. I forgot to mention the guacacasa also has jalapeno in it, so it's got a little kick of heat, not a lot. Great herbaceousness from the cilantro and the parsley. Uh, the garlic's great, a little bit of onion, and it's going really well with everything in here. The potato sticks, the mayonnaise, the tomatoes, everything. Most importantly, the beef. So here's the deal. I use the baguette because I couldn't find the kind of rolls that are used for this and I don't have time to bake them, which you know I like to do. Um, so I just used the baguette, which just kind of approximates it. And I gotta say, the original Venezuelan pepito sandwich was delicious. It was an interesting combination of flavor with that Worcestershire sauce, uh, garlic uh, marinade for the meat. Uh, the grilling, of course, is always welcome. Uh, lettuce, tomato, a little freshness. And then, of course, the mayonnaise and the potato sticks and the ketchup. It was good. And the grilled bread, I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give that a nine and a half because with the guacacasa avocado hot sauce, easily a 10. That is delicious. I will make this again at some point, absolutely. And I've made the guacacasa over on Barry's Cooking again a while back for a different Venezuelan sandwich if you wanna check that out. All right, I'm gonna finish this for lunch. I'll see you tomorrow.